And we're live. All right. Um, I'm so excited to be here and sharing about cavity healing and avoiding a dental apocalypse. The reason we're doing this as a live stream is because I just spoke down in Laguna at a health event and a conference, and a lot of people wanted to see the information I was covering. So that's why we are doing this live. And, you know, a lot of you know about my brand, Medicinal Foods, and my healing story, healing my asthma and lung infection. Uh, but my cavity healing journey started when I was um, going to the dentist and just getting cavities every single time I went. I mean, maybe some of you can relate. And basically, I would, you know, I told the dentist, okay, I'm going to do everything you say. And I went back there. I thought I had this sucker in the bag, sat down, had no plaque. And they did the x-rays and they came back. They're like, wow, your teeth are so clean. You have no plaque. $6,000 worth of uh, cavities and dental bills. Later, I was just totally done with the drilling, filling, and billing. And so that's why I went ahead and uh, st you know, got, on, got looked into a different approach. And that's kind of what I'm going to share with you here is, is what we can do as far as taking back our um, power that we've given up outside of ourselves uh, to the, the dentist. And um, I'm going to talk about self-sufficiency. And uh, that's a big part of uh, my life and uh, what I'm going to share with you uh, with the cavity healing. You know, if you, if you look at, I posted a picture a while ago uh, about how I went back to the dentist after seven years and um, I, zero cavities, you know, that's like after three or four cavities every time I'd visit the dentist. And so we're talking about the number one issue that is facing people today. It's actually the number one health issue is, um, is, is cavities. So, I mean, by the time someone's 40 to 50, they're 95% of them have cavities and two to five year olds, almost 30% of them have cavities. So if the drilling, filling, billing, root canals, all the mass fluoridation, toothpaste, mouthwash, all that stuff worked, we wouldn't see this rise over time. And, um, that's why, uh, you know, we're talking about this. And I know like most of the people who will be watching this are, not in the fluoride mentality, but um, the the reality I just have to say is like, you know, the, the we're at this situation because of several hoaxes and uh, fluoride hoax is one of them, whether they call them fluorosilicate, hydrofluorosilicate, uh, sodium fluoride, any of this stuff, it's all fluoride. It's all a chemical waste, toxic waste byproduct that countries have to pay big money in order to get rid of this stuff. So don't fall for it. It doesn't actually help. I mean, I can tell you what it actually does. It lowers the threshold by which the acid starts breaking down your teeth by like a half a point. It's negligible and there's way better stuff out there uh, that we're going to get into. So um, the other hoax is the mercury hoax that people are steering away from now. But if you look at the sources of mercury, it's like amalgams and vaccines and uh, is are like the highest amounts seafood way less on what you know our consumption of amalgams is it's 22 milligrams is labeled uh, toxic waste in a fluorescent bulb yet we have all these things uh, you know all these diseases here that are linked to have one thing in common and it's a thousand milligrams are in filling so the fact is in 1845 the american dental uh, so, uh, American Society of Dental Surgeons. Have, have any of you guys heard of the American Society of Dental Surgeons? Of course not, because they were banned and disbanded and they were getting rid of mercury, but they ended up uh, getting replaced by the ADA, American Dental Association, who promoted the mercury fillings. And what's crazy is that, um, you know, they call us quacks in the uh, alternative health field, but the real quacks were the dentist. And they, they, in the 1800s, gold was too expensive. So they went ahead and um, filled it with um, um, mercury. And the Krakura brothers came in from France and they, they would fill the teeth and they would get discolored and fall out. But they called these mercury filling dentists, they placed the mercury fillings, they called them quacks. And it was based on a Dutch word 
the quack sabers who would peddle mercury containing health health potions. So the real quacks were dentists. I mean, I think that's uh that's just says a lot right there. Um, but you know, the a lot of this like drill big holes theory, it comes from this guy, G. V. Black in the 1800s, and he he did this extension for prevention theory where they drill past the decay and they create a lot of tooth structure um, damage and uh, they, they remove so much of it. It's kind of barbaric because it is just a theory to just uh, go way back and drill a big hole and it still persists today. So uh, the drilling, filling, billing, just, let's just get clear here. It is a business model. And it is something that 150 years of Dr. Weston Price research can go ahead and um, and and shows that you can heal cavities. And so that's what I did. That's what I did with, uh, you know, I started to work on the nutrition. And I told my dentist, I said, hey, you know, let's just see how it goes. That's like the idea was um, to just kind of wait and see. The worst thing that happened to me is it stayed the same. But the best thing that happened is shortly after, you know, six to eight months of working on nutrition, I went back, had zero cavities, started, uh, you know, I fell off the bandwagon at that point, um, went up and down with my cavity healing experience. But in the end, I realized that um, it was challenging to do it with just with nutrition alone. So here I'm with the dentist who as some of the products I created, uh, the dentite with the nanohydroxyapatite uh, uh, tooth armor, it actually restores, remineralizes the teeth. And um, then the the gum tight ozonated oil pulling. So he is a big fan. Like this is just incredible for the gums and everything. But this guy, he's a big fan of uh, nanohydroxyapatite. So it's just cool to see a dentist like um, really actually. Uh, using some of these things. But just to go back in to how I got on this self-sufficiency train, it's, uh, you know, I was born at a summer camp for kids called Earth Camp One. And they did organic gardening. They did backpacking up Mount Shasta. They pioneered a lot of these uh, things that, you know, I live uh, in Hawaii, in a solar power, tropical fruit tree farm. A lot of it passed on to me. And there's my dad and my mom who my dad took classes in midwifery and delivered me, which was very controversial at the time. And so they had controversial alternative friends like Tim Leary and Ram Das, And uh, a lot of movie stars, kids were sent there. Like there's uh, Joan Baez's kids. And that is, um, excuse me, John Lovitz right there. Cheech was my dad's college roommate. He, uh, he would come and visit. And so, um, I just ran naked through the woods like um, my dad would bring me dripping wet honeycomb and it was kind of an idyllic setting. Uh, Buckminster Fuller, uh, my dad and him conversed and he sent him out the plans for this uh, geodesic dome that they built. And uh, but what happened is, is I was on the. Um, I got sick with double pneumonia when I was six months old and I was sent, uh, like we went back East to my mom's side of the family to visit them. And that's where I got, they tried to blame the sickness on, uh, on the actual, um, home birth, which is interesting what this article was about. And, but they knew to like, there was something wrong and they had to take me to the hospital and they shot me so full of antibiotics that that's probably why I, you know, like knocked out that first line of defense and kind of spent my life regaining my digestion and my health. And so this is something that, um, you know, kind of got me on that whole healing journey. Yeah, maybe I would not be here if it wasn't for the medical uh, industry, but they also, because of them, I suffered with a lot of gut issues later on, candida and, and a compromised immune system and, and stuff like that. But as I got older, I, I was looking good on the outside, ski, being a ski racer. But on the inside, I was suffering and I was I was really sick with, you know, not barely being able to breathe. So that's when I turned to Ayurveda. I studied uh, 
the yoga of herbs. And I remember my dad, uh, he was, he had, he was a rare, had a rare form of adrenal cancer. And I pulled this yoga of her herbs book off of a shelf and was like, okay, started boiling up ginger root to, to uh, dry up the mucus in my lungs. I started using marshmallow licorice, different things to soothe the irritations. And I, eventually came into balance and launched this brand medicinal foods that uh, since it looks like this is just going live here on medicinal foods uh, which is uh, restricted from advertising so <laughs> hardly anyone's seeing this right now but we will rebroadcast it but uh, the, the few of you that are here uh, thanks for being here throw something down in the chat say hi we are going to do q a afterwards so i'm looking forward to, to chatting with you ask me anything um so yeah uh, start medicinal foods and healed, like with any chronic illness, it takes what? Coming into balance on all levels. So I tried Chinese medicine. I tried keto at the time, equivalent. Uh, I tried raw foods. I did it all and eventually like got my health back. Um, so like, for example, free diving here in Hawaii to over uh, 120 feet on one breath, the cordyceps, the oxygenation uh, the oxygenating power of the cordyceps is is so incredible. I mean, anyone who is having lung issues should definitely look into this. It increases ATP production by up to 30%, which is huge. That's our energy source. And um, and so we live that that lifestyle here in Hawaii of self-sufficiency and that I'm, I'm going to uh, give you the tools to be able to do that uh, from a dental perspective for your teeth. And uh, we've been here for about 25 years, harvested these local hardwoods from the land, the ohia, and um, and raised my daughter in a very similar way. Uh, so here's just some other shots of the land. And, you know, we have hundreds of exotic fruits. And over the last 25 years, I put in a koi pond and just lived its off-grid solar power. And here's my wife's beautiful garden and just amazing um, um, things we're able to do out here uh, working with the earth and the soil. So I could I could eat, um, after I came into balance with the candida, I could finally eat the sweet fruits. I mean, this is like the highest BRICS index fruit there is, uh, uh, lychee. Um, so I could finally eat it. I figured out how to eat fruit first, like, you know, the sugar wants to go right into the cell and absorb. And any of you who are putting coconut oil in your smoothies uh, anymore, it's like you don't want to do that because it, it the sugar just sits there and ferments and uh, it, it creates uh, yeast candida, stuff like that. So um, you want it to, uh, sugar is a great sor uh, source of energy, but you want to have it absorb right away. So Years later, I was able to bring dripping wet honeycomb to my daughter. And um, what I ended up doing, though, is I couldn't eat this fruit because I of my teeth. I had sensitivity issues, and it was really like I was having a hard time um, with the cavities. So that's what got me onto the whole like cavity healing uh, journey. And where I wrote the cavity healing protocol after studying Dr. Weston Price and basically ended up... <laughs> seeing how he studied indigenous cultures and their, I mean, a lot of you are probably familiar with the Weston Price research, 150 years of research uh, cumulative. And um, he found that the people one generation away eating the standard American diet, eating the processed foods, their teeth deteriorated where a lot of these tribes, they didn't have any toothpaste or toothbrushes. So he also did a root canal on his son who ended up dying from that root canal. So he pioneered figuring out, realizing that people were getting root canals and it was actually related to heart issues later on. And it's crazy that nowadays modern dentists are just starting to figure that one out. Um, but it's not acid and bacteria uh, that is the culprit. I'll just tell you here, um, they want you to think that, you know, acid and bacteria, and that's our enemy. And it's almost like a, um, what is it? Uh, terrain versus germ theory. What we're really talking about is, is a function of nutrition. And 
when you can get to the nutritional level, you realize that you build the teeth and strong teeth resist acid and bacteria. So that's, that's the bottom line here. Um, Weston Price did a study where he took the teeth, strong teeth built there with nutrition, put them in acid and exposed them to bacteria and they were solid. They were fine. It's other, um, issues that people are having with, um, with their diet, really. So we're going to get into that. Weston Price talked about eating like our ancestors and how the the fat-soluble vitamins that were contained in the cheese, the fish eggs, the, you know, like it or not, the uh, grandma's, uh, well, you know, fermented cod liver oil, but even like low phytate grains or no grains at all, low phytate grains like oats and, um, and the 72-hour uh, fermented sourdough bread like my mom uh, does. If you're listening, thank you so much for the amazing um, food so we can eat like our ancestors, properly prepared ferments. So that is all great. But, you know, well, I mean, look, fermented cod liver oil gets a bad rap, but it was a staple of the Vikings. It was a staple of um, the Romans. And it was... Uh, staple in grandma's cabinet. So it's because it's got the, the vitamin D3 and the K2 is what drives in the phosphorus and calcium into the teeth. And Dr. Price targeted 17 of the worst cases of, um, of dental health and all 17 healed on diet alone, except for one. So vitamin D doesn't just uh, put in the, uh, here we'll go like this. Uh, there we go. Vitamin D just doesn't uh, um, push in the phosphorus and calcium to the teeth. It actually blocks the calcium and phosphorus from um, the calcification of the rest of the body. So we're talking about things like Alzheimer, I mean, uh, uh, arthritis, uh, the calcification in our teeth. And the state of calcium is always in flux in, in our teeth. So we're going to have at any given moment, uh, Dr. Price did a study where people have two different types of saliva and some have the type that gives phosphorus and calcium to the teeth and some have the type that pulls it out. And so which one are you? Well, it depends on your nutrition. Um, vitamin D is directly responsible for the cementum, which bonds our tooth to our bone. Like you ever have loose teeth? It's the cementum that uh, you, you know, may be low on, on vitamin D. So Vitamin D combined with uh, the vitamin K2 that comes from grass-fed cows and specifically the MK4. This is what's helping the teeth. The MK7 that you're getting in natto and stuff like that, it's not, not quite, it's not doing it. You want the MK4. So it's the D3 plus K2 plus um, vitamin K2 in the form of MK4 specifically. And uh, that's where the grass fed, um, it's called the Activator X, the butter oil. It is um, the centrifuge, the butter, so that they spin out the K2 and it concentrates it. Now, these things have been, this is like the tried and true, the, the fermented cod oil, the butter oil. Like this is what has worked. Um, it's what worked for me. And it works for a lot of people. And now there's new like vegan versions available, still food-based. You want to make sure you're getting food-based. And this is really important because um, if you're getting synthetic D3, uh, it's, to it's toxic. And it's toxic because you've got, um, like, you ever look at uh, D3, K2 drops, and it's like you get one to four drops, and that's it. Uh, or you take a capsule for a week, and you're getting all your IUs. That's how you know that it's toxic shit. Okay. I mean, someone was just telling me they were having heart arrhythmia and they're like, I'm fine. I got my D3 K2. And I said, oh yeah, where, where's it from? And, um, you know, uh, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to bash anyone, but it's from like a, you know, look, I'll just say it's, it was Mercola's D3 and Mercola's awesome. I, I love him. He's a great guy. And he also has the synthetic available. That's fine. I'm just saying that you want to avoid the synthetic because people are having heart issues. And the K2 that is not from food is basically uh, grown on bacteria. So that's where we've got some, um, you know, 
work to do as far as, uh, you know, sourcing the right stuff. And, you know, with medicinal foods, since that's what we're, we're streaming to the medicinal foods people here, uh, you know, I always am all about sourcing the very best, very pure stuff we can. So uh, what, what's cool about the latest studies in vitamin K is that they have the organizational ability to distribute the calcium and phosphorus to the teeth, inhibiting it from calcifying the rest of the body, kidneys and stuff like that. This is uh, the activator X that Weston Price healed 42 cavities in 24 teeth in seven months in a 14-year-old girl. So here's an example of the cavity healing here. Um, let's just go like this. So this is uh, some restoring tooth enamel just in eight weeks. And if you look over here, you can see this part right here. This is new secondary dentin that's that's being built out here. And this here is, it's not here. This is after building it with nutrition. Here's a blown up version of that. 2D, this area in here is um, regrown, secondary dentin and enamel. Pretty exciting, huh? Oops. So uh, what we're, you know, so like, Here's here's what's happening in the this world of uh, you know after 150 years with Dr. Weston Price, um, I realized that not everyone could heal. Oops, we lost our presentations. Hang on a sec. Um, I just I realized not everyone could heal their their teeth um, with nutrition alone, and so um, here let me share the screen again. And so that's why I created the Dentite Tooth Armor, the, um, the Gumtite uh, Ozonated Oil Pulling to heal from the outside in while we do the nutrition from the inside out. And share my screen again. Do, do, do. Uh, window. Okay, here we go. So we'll get, we'll get oh, to, to more of that, but I want to tell you about the, the thing that's going on with the emu oil right now. Um, I saw the Weston Price research. This was, um, you know, the emu is revered, by the way, by the Australians and the uh, Aborigines uh, in Dreamtime and in, in for, for, as a food, as an ancestral superfood. I saw the Weston Price research back in the day where, it was five years ago or something that this, this chart came out. And this is the menaquinone four levels in emu oil. This is approximately five times the amount of what's in the green pastures oil, the stuff that's tried and true that's that's worked for so long. And they just redid it. Dr. Laura Trice, if you're listening, thanks for uh, giving me a ring. And we, we talked about the latest studies with emu oil and how this one particular tribe is processing the emu one particular way, this special kind of emu that goes back 100 million years, has evolutionary significance, and was getting almost 20 times the amount of vitamin K2, MK4. So it's pretty exciting uh, to see people healing 10 cavities in, in avoiding a root canal and a cracked tooth. And her daughter was told the same thing. You know, it's a genetic thing. They told me, you have soft teeth. It's a genetic thing. Um, but this is helpful for pregnant women as well, like building bone density that gets kind of sucked out of them during um, during birth. So just wanted to mention that. But the last thing I'm going to touch on as far as like the cavity healing protocol, you're going to get it for free at the end. And we'll go over some questions. But the dentinal tubular flow is crazy because you have got miles of tubules. You've got literally um, three miles of tubules. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> three miles of tubules between your teeth and your glands. And when you get stressed out, the, the uh, um, fluids that are released from the glands, their actual hormones are released that are responsible for the secretion of the protective fluids in our teeth and they stop. So I don't know if you've ever noticed like when you get stressed out, uh, either your teeth start hurting or they, um, they'll smell bad, you know, cause a lot of those protective fluids fight the bad bacteria and stuff like that. So that's just a, um, 
a little bit about stress and also glycemic index. Like when you spike on your glycemic index, here's a better picture of the, the uh, dentinal tubules. Uh, it also shuts off the flow of these, these beneficial fluids. Um, now, I don't think there's a problem. This is just my theory, but when you spike in, in like, let's say you have uh, um, a high sugar spike um, for diabetes, for example, I don't think it's the high sugar spike, you know, coming back down, it's fine. It's the sustained high spike that is the problem. So if you're eating fruit and it's absorbing right into your body, you know, I think that's fine because your blood sugar comes back to a, a you know, reasonable state after that. I think what we're talking about here and in Western prices um, uh, or, or in the dentinal tubular research is that, uh, you know, high sugar spike for long periods of time with uh, a lot of processed sugar. So like I was saying, you know, there's a lot of other aspects to cavity healing that I realized not everyone was able to do all of these things, but now they're able to do all of these things. And so I created Dentite Tooth Armor, which has the nanohydroxyapatite, uh, which is, is basically what our teeth are made of. And I, I know there's like a lot of people concerned about nano and I can address some questions in the end, but the main thing is like, there's good nano, which is small particle size. So it can get into, you know, it's bioavailable, in this case, bonding to our teeth. And then there's bad nanotech that crosses the blood-brain barrier. This is the former, and the latter uh, is, it's not the latter. It doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier. There's studies I can show you and stuff like that if you want to get those studies. So uh, what I did is I found out about the Japanese bought the rights to nanohydroxyapatite from um the NASA because they were trying to build bone density. And so that's, I wanted to use that in the formula, but I realized that there was, um, the, the, the product I was getting from Japan was really toxic. And that's why I formulated this super clean with the nanohydroxyapatite, the nano silver also different than colloidal silver. It targets bad mouth bacteria and leaves the healthy flora alone. Um, the nano silver, it also doesn't stay in the body like colloidal silver does. And the theobromine, which is, they don't call it food of the gods for nothing. I mean, this is, uh, <laughs> this is extracted from cacao and it protects the teeth. It's a tooth hardener. So it's just basically that and trace minerals and um, lost my video here. And uh, also um some monk fruit to sweeten it that's pretty much it it's a super clean formula that uh, does also doesn't have fluoride and stuff like that let me switch to my backup camera here so that that's uh what's in dentite and um it's really simple to use you just squirt it on your teeth it starts filling in the the caries the little cavities and um remineralizing restoring the tooth enamel from the outside in. And when you combine that with the nutrition from the inside out, it's amazing what is happening with people uh, healing cracked teeth. They're talking, I mean, this is just what they're saying. And instantly my sensitivities went away and I started getting it out to my community and they were giving me such great feedback. So that's kind of what we've been focusing on with medicinal foods now and why I wanted to, um, you know, share this with you. The next thing I created was the gum tight ozonated oil pulling formula, which Back in the day, 10 years ago, I tried oil pulling, and some of you may have done the oil pulling, but <laughs> the reality is that it doesn't work for a lot of people. I used the traditional Ayurvedic sesame oil at first, and it really helped um, with my cavities and sensitivities. Um, but later when I fell off the wagon and I started getting cavities again, I tried coconut oil, and that just was not happening. I mean, I oil pulled till I was blue in my face, 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night. And it was like, just didn't work. And um, this stuff, thankfully, you only need to go about five minutes. I only last five minutes anyway, because I'm a uh, salivator. And so this is, um, this is pretty much a guaranteed like feel amazing in your teeth. Like if you floss, I don't do it all the time. But if you floss, and then 
oil pull, I mean, it's just amazing. It's also a tooth whitener. Like I've never done the whitening strips, but I hear they rip off the enamel from your teeth. So don't do them. Use a natural ozone instead. And my my wife puts it all over her body. This stuff you can multi-purpose use for it. Um, she had some uh, stuff going on on her forehead that starts with the C word, and and she's been putting ozone on that, and it's gone. So uh, pretty incredible stuff there. Um, here's my bottom line: my three-step cavity healing protocol. It's you work on yourself with the nutrition, and then you. Do the oil pulling with the gum tight ozonated oil pulling. And um, and then you brush the dentite in in the morning. And then I just leave it on at night before bed. So that's that's my protocol there. And um you you can also get you're gonna get my cavity healing protocol at the end here if you just hang with me a little bit longer. Um so I think to sum it all up, Dr. Robert O'Neara wrote an incredible book, uh, Money by the Mouthful, and he said, in my opinion, the whole thing boils down to one simple fact. The dental establishment is scared to death. The public is going to realize that the entire profession has been making a living by repairing the results of a disease they could have been curing all along. And there's the C word. I didn't say it. He said it, and um, he was barred from the dental association, dental profession. Um, we are coming out with Nourish, you know, because it's all about incorporating these ancestral foods. And this is a grass-fed New Zealand um, beef organ uh, capsules. And combined with the dentite and gum tight, the, there'll be a you know special deal on all of them. So, you know, we're doing this for our future generations. And here's my daughter with her uh, incredible teeth and um, you know, it's it's amazing to see her picking up on uh, the whole cavity healing uh, reality. And she's been doing the gum tight, the dentite, uh, eating the uh, the capsules. And so it's pretty cool to see that her last dental checkup, zero cavities as well. Uh, grab my cavity healing protocol at medicinal-foods.com. Let's just go there now so you know where to get it because a lot of people can't find it. It's just, it's on the homepage here. Just go down. Oh my gosh, it actually disappeared. Oh, there it is. Okay. So just put your info in here and you'll get the cavity healing protocol. And it goes into a lot more cool stuff. You, you, you'll you have access instantly online to a version, but then this protocol makes it cool because you can download it. It's a nicer PDF version. And it's got a lot of other tips and tools in there to, to help you out um, on your cavity healing journey. So thanks for spending this time with me. Happy cavity healing. Bye for now.